Hi YouTube, my name is Eric. If you're new visiting my channel, thank you for watching this video. Click the like and subscribe button. Make sure to join us. I'm a recovering addict. I deal with anxiety, depression, PTSD, ADHD on a daily basis. I, I fight a battle that most of us fight every single day and I created and designed a channel and a movement around that of making sure that nobody goes through life alone. So make sure you click the like and subscribe button. Love to have you along for the journey with us. And to everybody who has subscribed, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Hi YouTube, my name is Eric and I want to be real with you for a minute because my channel is about suicide awareness, sobriety, mental illness, mental health. I, I'm a recovering addict. I, I've, I've dealt with depression and anxiety. I've been diagnosed with those. I'm ADHD. I'm, I've been diagnosed with PTSD. I lost a wife and a father to suicide. And there's some subjects that we just really don't talk a lot about. And especially with all the drama and hearing all these different channels talking and stuff, there's one thing that is just a life lesson of mine that I learned that I wanted to share with everybody because it does relate to our mental illness. It does relate to our sobriety. And that's what I'm going to say when it comes down to this, out of my own personal experience, non-doctor experience, that everybody ain't your friend. That everybody that you come across to in life is not your friend. Even if you grew up with these people, they're not your friend and here's why. That just because they're standing next to you, it doesn't mean that they want the best for you. Just because they smile in your face doesn't mean that they're not stabbing you in the back. Just because the length of that friendship doesn't determine the strength of that friendship. Believe me, I've been there. I've had lots of friends come and go, and you know what? I count them now as just acquaintances. And on my hand, I can count five real good true friends. And you know what? Some of them I've known for a long time, and some of them I haven't. But you know what? I know and I've had ride-or-die friends that have left me out there to die. It's a reality of life. Sometimes we expend so much energy into some of these friendships that they don't expend the same energy back and it drains us and it wears us down and it beats us up. The fear of letdown and the fear of failure is a determining factor in our life. And believe me, when you cut a friend out of your life, there is no fear of failure. You didn't fail. In fact, you know what? You grew. You grew as a human being. You became a stronger human being because you surrounded yourself with the right people. Because your circle of friends, just because they're in a circle with you, it doesn't mean that they're in your corner fighting for you. Just because they're in a circle with you doesn't mean that they're not a cage around you. A lot of times people like to pull people down instead of lift them up. And that's what having a true friendship's about. And you can find these friends in real life. And you know what? It, real situations will expose fake friends. Real situations will show the fakeness in people. If somebody says that you're, they're your friend, I tell you what. Show me that you're my friend. Show me that you're worth that energy. and Show me that you're worth my time because my time is valuable. I can't put a price tag on my time because you know what? When I'm born, I'm only given so much. And I don't know how much I'm given. I don't know what each day is going to hold for me. Just because I've known you all my life doesn't mean that you want to have me have a great life and see me have a great life. That is what friendship is. And unfortunately, there are positives and negatives to it. And what's happened in this community, it exposes that. These kind of real situations, talking about these real things, real friends don't manipulate friends. Fake friends manipulate friends. Fake friends use you. How do you know if you're being used? I can tell you this. You know when you're being used. And you know what? You're feeling like you're letting them down. You're not letting them down. They're letting you down as a friend. Be real with yourself. Be honest with yourself. What, you're afraid that you're not going to have many friends if you cut some people out of your life? You know what? To grow sometimes, we have to do some cutting. We have to do some surgery. We have to snip and cut some people out of our life. And when we do is when we truly grow. Because you're an amazing human being. You've made it this far. You've pushed through some fucking battles that people have no idea about. Fake friends will leave you in the darkness. A real friend will sit with you in the darkness until the light comes. Sometimes it's so dark that all we need is somebody to turn on that light switch for us. A fake friend isn't going to be there to listen to you. They're only going to make sure that you're there to listen to them. And realize who these people are in your life. Remember that the energy that you put out may not be put back to you in return. Remember that just because they're standing next to you doesn't mean when you turn around that they're going to be there. You got to understand that and that's a reality of life. Is there letdowns in life? Is there challenges in life? Fuck yeah, there is. But you know what? You're worth it. You're a strong individual. You matter. And you need to remind yourself that. You're stronger than any sickness in your head. How many of us feel like a burden or, or, or visible to our friends? Well, you know what? That isn't a real friend. That isn't a ride or die friend. That isn't a friend that you can call at four in the morning, three in the morning with a broken tire out in the middle of fucking nowhere that'll pick up the phone and say, you know what? I'm there for you. We always make fun that, yeah, I'll go hide the bodies with you. You know what? 
How many of them are going to come find my body when I need them? How many of them are going to outreach their hand when I need it? Stop always putting out your hand to pull others up because sometimes when you're pulling others up, they're only doing it to pull you down. And we don't always realize that. I mean, these real situations expose fake friends. It's easy to be a fake person. It's easy to be a fake friend, and a lot of people are. A lot of people have that fake smile, but you know what? Real situations expose that fakeness. Real situations show who's real and who's fake. You gotta remember that everybody that comes into your life isn't necessarily a positive influence. You know, I'm not for just going through and just cutting out all your friends left and right, but I can tell you this. From personal experience, if somebody's been in my corner and they've been with me through hell and back, they have my loyalty. But I also know that sometimes the people that I have my loyalty to don't have the same loyalty back to me. And I gotta remember that that's okay. It's not my fault. We're all different, we're all human. We all want different things out of life. I found that some of my best friends at times were some of the people that I hated the most. And I learned to grow with, and all of a sudden I learned to communicate with, and I learned to end up having this amazing friendship with. Because that's what part of life is. It's not all cherries and roses when it comes to friends, and let's face it, you know, none of us wanna be alone. It's a fact of life that none of us want to be alone. But I can tell you this, it's also a fact of life that not everybody wants to see you grow in life. And having that real friend is somebody who's going to help you grow, that's going to help you push through the sickness in your head, that's going to help you go down to a meeting when you need to go to a meeting. That when you're struggling, is going to sit there and listen. They're not going to just blow you off and send you to voicemail. Then you text them in the middle of the night saying that you're struggling and suffering, they're going to be right there with you. I mean, that's a real friend. And sometimes we mistake those fake friends for real friends, and then we feel let down, and then we feel hurt, and then we feel that all of a sudden, you know, we're not wanted. I can tell you this, never put the value of your life or your, your quality of a human being on another person. Because you're unique and you're one of a kind, and no one out there has the right to ever determine your value. Because you are a priceless individual. There isn't a dollar figure on you, there isn't a time figure on you, because you're unique, you're amazing. And you know what, if somebody can't see you for who you are, then you know what, it's their loss. Don't get tied up in the small things. Sometimes we look at the littlest things in life and we miss the big picture. Don't miss the big picture of life because it's a beautiful thing. Especially when we're battling depression, we're battling anxiety and we're having trouble getting out that fucking front door. Last thing we really need to be doing is focusing on the small things that make us miss that big picture, that make us miss celebrating those small victories. Just remember that those people around you could be a cage. Just remember that person that's in your corner doesn't necessarily have your back. You know, a true friend has your back when you're not even there. That's what friendship's about. That's what being real in somebody's life's about. You wanna be a friend back to somebody and they've given you everything they got, then give them everything they got back. My best friendships are the ones that have taken the least maintenance, the least work, and the least effort. My friendships are the ones that I truly have in my life that I hold dear to me that I don't feel like I have to work at this friendship. I don't feel like I have to repair any kind of fucking friendship. They don't use me. And how do we know when we're being used? Oh, we know it. It's in our gut and we just don't accept that feeling sometimes. If we listen to our feelings and we listen to our gut and we listen to our intuition, believe me, life becomes so much better. It, it takes some of that pressure off of us. And, and you know what? I know what it's like to have depression hit because of friendship. I know what it's like to have anxiety hit because of friendship. I know what it's like to feel fucking alone because of friendship. I tell you that, that it's not friendship. That's falseness. So don't let the falseness in your life invade your life. Don't let it help control any of your emotions. And you know what? I wish it was easier than just saying, hey, cut these people out of your life. But I can tell you this, what stings for a little bit may feel great in a while. And all of a sudden, you know, you're stronger, you're better, you're faster, you're, you're, you're more amazing, and, and you find even more happiness. Because there's nothing worse than that weight that we're carrying around with us and not realizing that it's a weight. Because that's what a fake friend is. Again, I just want you to know, and I just want to be real with everybody, because I see people tossing out there that I thought this person was my friend, or I thought that they had my back. Ain't everybody have your back. It's easy to say words, it's hard to show action. You want to be a friend, it's all by action, it's not by the words that you say. Just because I can't see you doesn't mean that you can't still be my friend and have my back. But your actions that you show will show me if you have my back. That's what life's about. That's what the fighting through everything is about. When it comes to AA, I've met some of the best friends ever there. Because they're real motherfuckers that have been through the shit. And you know what? They know what it's like not to run their mouth. They know what it's like not to fucking talk behind your back. Real friends keep your secrets. Fake friends gossip about them. We have to remember this. 
And sometimes we overlook it. And sometimes when we overlook that, we fall into that pit hole and we fall into that deep well. Well, I can tell you this, that you will always have some real friends around you too that'll lift you up. And I mean, if you are ever struggling out there, I always put my phone number on all the social media. It's down below even right now. If you truly feel alone, if you feel that there's no one in your life, I want you to know that you're not invisible. You're not a burden because fake friends will make you feel that way. Fake friends will make you just in your head of your own nightmare. They will add to that nightmare. They don't add to your story. They add to the nightmare. They don't help you achieve your dreams. They help drag you out of your dreams. They don't put you into the big picture. They don't put your goals up ahead. They pull you down so that they can achieve their goals and step on you. Remember that some friends will use you as a stepping stone to get to where they want to be. And that is not a friend at all. So make some hard decisions sometimes in life and cut those fake friends out. If somebody's hurt you, cut them out of your life. Do I believe in second chances? Fuck yeah, I believe in second chances. But you know what? There's only so many chances to go around. And when the situation gets real, I want to know who's my real friends. No matter what it is that you're going through in life, if you're trying to get sober, you're trying to put that bottle down, if you're trying to make it out that front door, if you're trying just to get out of bed, I want you to know that there are real people out there that really have your back. That'll help put their hand out there and help lift you up and not pull you down. So take personal inventory. Look inside and know and figure out what you have around you. And if it's a cage around you, break through that cage. And if it's actually a friend next to you, then stand firm next to them. Because in order to keep it, we got to give it away. And I've learned that the friendships that I have that are actually my true real friendships, giving it away to them and giving them everything I got, I don't ask for it in return because it comes naturally because they want to be there for me. They don't want me to help push them further. They don't want me to help progress them in life only. It's a together thing, it's a we thing, it's an us thing. So all these videos and these people, everybody out there saying that they're hurt and they're let down and they're disappointed by others, I tell you this, cut it out of your life, acknowledge it, cut it, move on. Enjoy life, enjoy what you have around you and you know what, it makes life that much better because we're stronger than the sickness in our head. We're stronger than the, the illness in, in our body. And we can push through it and we can fight through it. And I believe in you. You're an amazing human being and you've made it this far. And I have a ton of passion when it comes to this because realness outweighs any fakeness any day. So to anybody out there that's been hurt by anybody, have been hurt by a friendship, you're not alone. You're not the first person to experience this. But you know what? You can Take that first step and make those hard decisions and cut some people from your life. And you know what? When those weights are cut, it's that much easier to stand up. So to anybody out there struggling, my number's down below. If you want anybody to hit up, it's not a crisis line. It's not a hotline. It's just a line out there that if you need to talk to somebody, I got your back. Because I know what it's like to stand with you in that fucking fire, to stand with you to get out that door. All friendships aren't real. And we just have to admit to that. And we have to admit to ourselves and stop lying to ourselves. And find those real people in life and find the real support in life. And know that, you know what, it's worth it every single day and that you're worth it every single day. I hope you got something out of this. Click the like and subscribe button if you want. Hit me up down below. My phone number's down below. All my social media's down below. I want to ride with you through life. I want to push you up because the more that I've been able to give it away, the more that it's come back to me. The more that I've been able to help others, the more that it's helped me in return. You know what? It's natural for a lot of people to be selfish. And you know what, though? It doesn't mean that we have to acknowledge it, accept it, and be that. So I hope that you have an amazing day today. I hope that you find the strength to make some ch changes in your life. And I just want you to know that you truly are amazing.